Little, I just found a whole bunch of ripe cherries yeah, over here. Tell this. us, how do you how do you actually harvest? Okay, I'm gonna clear some of this. Look yeah. at this. This all ripe cherries is very nice. It's really ripe. You see. Yep. So uh, you just uh, pick the ripe cherries. You cannot pick the green like this. Okay. No. Yep. Or maybe like this. You don't pick this one. So, so the way you uh, pick uh, when you harvest the the cherries, just like twist like this, and it will. Uh, come off from the stem and that's what you have to do you see the stem is stay like that right and this stem is going to be the flower in the next harvest for okay. the next year if you pluck the with the stem out you will lose the harvest for right the next year. So right this is what you have to do and okay I think we have our friend I, I, here. I, Nathaniel uh, no, uh, Chris, uh, Chris, Nicholas come taste the coffee and let us know uh. how it goes and please swallow the seed because you're going to be the next Kopi Luwak. <laughs> yeah, we're waiting for that. How does it taste like? Actually very sweet. Very sweet. Very close to um, a regular cherry. Wow, awesome. But um, with some different flavors and aromas to it. Awesome. Um, so, do you, so yeah. Nathaniel, you actually roast the coffee from here. This is your plantation. You actually harvest them. Yeah, and uh, this is the, the coffee where where we get from and actually uh, in Bandung here we have plantation here and mm -hmm. about 60 kilometers away we have another one and both give us different taste even though we plant the same seeds right because the uh, what you call it the, the soil is different soil is different All right. like that, yeah Okay, so how many hectares are there all together here in this whole place that we see? Here is about 4,000 hectares all together. Say that again? 4,000 hectares. 4,000 hectares yes. of coffee plantation. Yeah. Awesome. So, how many, how many kilos of coffee do you harvest each time? Okay, per one hectare you will get one ton approximately of green beans, dried one. Okay. So, um, we're talking about 4,000 tons in a year. We 4,000 yeah, tons in a year. That's the total production of this area. Okay. And I noticed that it's uh, not a very easy path to walk along. So, the, yes. how do the people actually have to harvest them? Okay. Uh, if you see that, that part is really steep like that. It's going uphill like that. Yeah. So, uh, the farmers, they have to carry a big basket like that at the, at the front like that. Uh, okay. And they, they pick it. Uh, by hand like that and they will carry about 25 kilograms 25 kilos yes, of coffee of per coffee person per person and to walk up these kind of hills yeah so it's a lot of uh, hard work to do and that's why actually you know um, if we look from uh, the plantation all the way until in the cups yep. at least the coffee will pass uh, through 40 hands 40 hands yes. oh no wonder the okay I see yeah so what's your mission today actually why do you why do you focus on uh, what is this thing about CSR what is CSR okay we have the corporate social responsibility mm. but now we call it cor uh, corporate share values okay corporate no, shared values yes that's what we do mm -hmm. so uh, we have agronomist mm -hmm. who really uh, goes to the farmers and they teach the farmers how to do a good plantation governance mm -hmm. and also how to process uh, coffee per uh, what you call it uh, correctly okay so in in a way uh, for them to get more uh, earning mm -hmm. uh, and they their harvest uh, the production getting better and better and better every year okay um, besides of that we also teach them how to manage the money in the family because okay. you know in the village like that yes people, they can they they get money and they buy motorcycle right okay Some, Get money, so new you, wife. You teach them. <laughs> that's so, good one. You teach them money management. Yes. Okay. We, we teach them money management, and we teach them don't financial get management. Okay. Don't get, don't get jealous when your friend or your neighbor buy a new motorcycle. You mm. don't have to buy a motorcycle. Start to saving. Mm. Start to, to do that because uh, it happens a lot that they just spend the money out and they don't have anything. Okay. Left. Yeah. Thank you for that, Nathaniel. Thank you. Thank you, Danny. Okay. Thank you.